How to be a good boss part two. There's many ways of being a good boss, um, but this is sort of what we do at Beloka. One of the main points is to be flexible with your tone and to be understanding of how you use your tone. So I have a four level of tones. Level one, praise. Good dog. It's not the squeaky toy voice, it's not a silly voice, it's a calm, softening of the voice. Number two is, I've got a job to do. I've got a strength about it, I've, I want you, dog, to do this. And it does it, good dog. And it doesn't do it, so we go to level three. Grumpy voice, or, as we say in Australia, not happy jam. You get a bit of gravel, you throw it in your mouth, you roll it around a bit and it comes out growly, grumpy. Not yelling, not screaming. And level four is very, very angry, grumpy, growly. Um, you know, it's a step up from level three. But I don't use this one too much because you don't need to really get to that point usually and then you need to be flexible through your tones and, and be communicational and accurate. Second point, ask, ask, enforce. It sounds really, really simple and it is. However, simple's not always easy. Ask is level two tone. So you ask them once, okay, sit. Ask again, sit. It's not doing it, you might have to get to the grumpy tone. Now, ask, ask and enforce. There's, there's different ways of enforcing as well. You can enforce with your tone. You might put a long lead on the dog. If it's not gonna sit, you might grab him on the, on the lead and you might get growly, you might take him back to the place where he was sitting and make him sit again. As soon as he sits, Go back to tone one, praise, good dog. A command is a waste of breath unless you're willing to enforce it. You're actually teaching the dog to be disobedient.